Welcome everybody to Real Estate Simulator, an upcoming simulator game coming out in the next three weeks on March 22nd of 2024. Uh, what is Real Estate Simulator? Real Estate Simulator, ready to forge your real estate empire, begin as a small investor, craft strategies to ascend as a tycoon, engage with diverse NPC clients, oversee properties spanning from affordable to luxurious houses, and tackle distinctive challenges. Ready to dominate the real estate world? That's the real question. This is developed by Geek On and published by Midnight Games. This is the same developer that made uh, Business Parking Tycoon. Um, if you remember that game we played on the channel as well. Same developers, and they are also they've also developed other games too in the past. But the Parking Business Tycoon is the one we've uh, covered here on the channel. Uh, so this is something that's coming up, upcoming game that you can kind of, you can go ahead and uh, take a look at. I have it pinned here in the live chat if you're watching here live on YouTube. I have the uh, link to the game. Uh, I also have the link in the description down below if you want to check that out. If you do end up enjoying this, please make sure to hit the like button. Uh, that shows not only me, but also shows the developers some love and support. Hitting the like button shows me that you want to see this come to the, more into the future. And, you know, helping out the developer on a small game like this. Yeah, why not, right? Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want more simulators and all that from me and whatnot. And uh, yeah, good stuff. I had to say a special thank you to the developer for reaching out to me and giving me a key. And while well, we can go ahead and showcase this game today. So thank you very much for the early look at this. I am pretty excited and um, I'm very interested to see what where this takes us today. Yeah, again, if you really enjoy it, Add it to your wish list and things like that, because that also helps out the developers when you add their game to your wish list on Steam. Other than that, it's a pleasure and honor to be with you today. I hope you all are having a great Friday today as we dive into our first time into the real estate simulator game. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hello, Chelsea. Hello, Lady Fluffy Dragon. Hello, Bedtime. Hello, Swift Swiftly, if you're watching here on Twitch or on YouTube. Hello, Krista, Susie T, La or Lady Fluffy Dragon. That's two for you. Spork. Hello, Spork. Crimson Willow. Nick. Maya J. Neko. Good to see you. Welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. Swan Keeper. Hello, Swan Keeper. Welcome in. Hello, hello. Susan. Nick. Hello, hello. Keely, how are you? Welcome in. Teresa. Lorinda. Lorinda. How are you, Lorinda? Good to see ya. Anthony Slytherin. Anthony, Anthony, how are you doing? Good to see ya. Who dat dude? Hello, who dat dude? Hello, Ash. Welcome in. Philip. How you doing, Philip? Welcome in. Hello, Barclay. Good to see ya. Leandra. Hello, Nelson. Hello, Physique. How's it going? Kazigal. How you doing, Kazigal? Shantae. Welcome in. Welcome in indeed. Nikki. Nikki in. How are you, Nikki in? Shay. How you doing, Shay? Katie. Katie C. Catherine. Welcome in. Luigi. How are you, Luigi? Welcome in. Yeah. Good to see him. Awkward Birdie. Hello, Awkward Birdie. And big shout out to Cassie for 19 months. Hello. Thank you for re-upping your membership for 19 whole months. Thank you very much. Says, well, hello, Cans, and hello, chat. Well, hello to you, Cassie. Welcome in. Okay. Everybody lurking, smirking, and possibly working on this Friday. Welcome in. Good to see you. Let's dive in. Let's see what Real Estate uh, Simulator gives us today and uh, hope for the best. Now, before we do that, let's actually see here. Uh, uh, uh. Seems pretty good to me. Seems pretty good. Hello, Samantha. How's it going? Let's go. New game. New game. Let's do it. Yeah. 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 I'm. I'm. I'm look. I'm. I'm Jones and man. I, I like the real estate games, right? We've played a state agent simulator recently, and now it's time today, for us to play I'm this. Oh. To get started. A new day promises to be full of opportunities because there is always something special to be found in the world of real estate. Let's start with the computer. It is the window to the world of real estate and the key to success. Can I turn you up? I did not know there was going to be voice acting in this game. <laughs> did not know there was going to be voice acting. Okay. Wow. Get on the computer. I, I shall. Office number one, office number two, and office number three. All right. Hey, subscriber. Thanks for subscribing, Jaden. How are you? 802, open up Shop Express. We shall. Open up Bedroom tab. Need a sleeping bag. It can be useful when upgrading a property. Sleeping bag indeed. Check out. Time to get out and look for a new property for the deal. Okay, get out of the office. I guess we're taking our sleeping bag and going. Very well. Marisam, Marisam, Marisam. How are you, Marisam? Hello, Alexis. What's going on? Okay, this is our office. These are big binders, too. Okay, all right, all right. 
premium real estate. Birdie, thank you for following on Twitch. Hello, Birdie. Exit. Here we go. This is kind of, I don't know, this is kind of exciting. I have to walk to the bus stop and get to the other side of town. Okay, find a stop and get to the slums. Wow, look at this. All right, we are out here. All right, let's enjoy this. Hello? All right. Very well. Hello, Alexander. How are you? Good to see you. By the tent first. Okay, slums, office, suburban, and su suburbs, or su suburban area, and city. One, two, and three. Take me to the slums. Hello, Yag yeah, Gaming. How are you? Hello, Lexi K. What? Wow, everybody's down on their on their luck here, yeah? Was that a fifty dollar bus ticket? Maybe not. No, we spent fifty dollars on our on on a sleeping bag. I'm gonna turn that off. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna turn that off. Find a property and buy it. Are you telling me I need to find a tent and buy it? Am I gonna buy a tent and rent this out? Eight hundred dollars. Am I going in the tent? Oh, hello. Is this your tent? Do you have your tent for sale for $800? I will sell it with $761. What about $700? This is the perfect fit for me. Oh, okay. Embrace the class of the property by decorating it with an interior piece. <clears throat> with an interior piece. I mean, obviously sleeping bag, right? <laughs> I mean, you're not putting a king-size bed in here. Now that the sleeping bag has become part of the dwelling, the great level has gone up. This simple but important improvement will increase the profit on the sale. Okay. So we are maxed out, I guess, level two star. Maxed out on, on this. So, all right, very well. Hello, Jim. How's it going, Jim? Back to the office we go. So if we go back to the office, we then can put this up for sale. This tent. This is so strange, dude. How oh, funny. Don't ever turn that on again. I own this place now, not you. Hey, subscriber. Hey, Christina, Christ, uh, Christiana, Christiana. Thank you for uh, subscribing. Hello, how are you? Lynn Mix, Lynn, Lynn, Lynn. Thanks for following on Twitch too. Hello. Back to the office. <laughs> The computer is my best assistant in real estate management. Oh. Well, I need to create a listing. Right, okay. You love six days where you are streaming. Time to lay on the couch and relax with a cup of tea and my kitten. Oh, very good. Very good. Open a state. Unpublished. Whispering Pines Pavilion. Enter the price. Set the price for the... So you can see, I guess, uh, purchased at $700. We invested $49 because of the sleeping bag. So we've already put like $749 into the tent and then we can figure out, okay, what should we sell it for, right? Okay, leave the leave the poor man alone. What if I sold a tent for $1,200? Now all that is left is Medium to find price. the right client and sell the property to them. Oh, okay. So the description of this is nestled under a canopy of tall pine trees. The Whispering Pines Pavilion offers a serene setting for showcasing your estate sale treasures. Its rustic charm and open design make it perfect for displaying antique furniture and collectibles. I don't think there was a... a, a, a holy crap! $1,200 tent, right? Okay, hi. You guys are very excited about this. Who came in first? I, 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 don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. But I'll go right to left. I need a house at $1,500. Yes, I'm open to considering this option. Okay. <laughs> then let's do it. Is, does he have to actually check out the house before he buys it? Okay. Whoa. Okay. Hello. What do you think about this tent? 
I will give you $1,000 for it. How about you give me eleven fifty for it? This is the perfect fit for me. Okay. Today was a productive day, but now it's time to wrap up your shift and get some rest. There will be new suggestions tomorrow. Okay. There will be new suggestions tomorrow. Right. Back to the office. Yeah. There we go. All right. So he bought it. He owns it. That's his. That's him. That's that's his tent forever. So good for him. End the shift. Hello, Pi Games. How are you, Pi Games? All right. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Now, we do have $1,400. We do. I am kind of curious. If we went to back and got, well, I don't know. Yeah, look at the, it all depends on star level here, right? Leveling up. Okay. Buy another sleeping bag and maybe go find ourselves another tent. I'm not entirely sure, but all right. Let's go. Let's go back to the slums, yeah? Maybe there's a new tent available for us. Hello, Tech. How's it going, Tech? Now, can we buy multiple tents at once? Or is it just like one available one? So there's the one that we sold. It's okay. All right. Multiple tents are, uh, tents are available. We even have a shipping container we can buy and sell. Okay. Cool. We can even buy a school bus and sell it. Oh, we're on a grind now, aren't we? Oh, we're about to grind it out. 6,100 there. How much money do we got? 1,300? 1,200 for that. 900 for that. He's already selling his house again. All right, let's do it. Yeah, okay. I get it now. I get it. Let's do it. Uh, you are not the person I sold this tent to. Did you rob somebody? I will sell it for $860. How about I buy it for $550? Thanks, but I'll decline. Okay, well, thank you. Go fuck yourself. Uh, $600. I'll have to say no... All right. I'll have to say no. Okay. This is the perfect fit for me. All right. Very good. So we own another tent. Okay. But wait, wait, wait. We need to put the sleeping bag in the tent. Hang on a sec. My bad. Whoop. Let's put the sleeping bag in the tent. There we go. There. Maxed out. Good. And now we have to sell it. Kind of wash, 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 you know. Rinse and wash, rinse and wash, or wash and rinse. Rinse and repeat. Enough with your radio. All right, let's go sell it now. And hopefully we can make a little bit more money. We might be able to make a more money on this. Hello, Bam. How, how are you, Bam? Good to see you. Hello, Casey. How you doing, Casey? What's going on? Um, all right. Put it up for sale. Kind of get in the groove of things here. Publish this. Uh, we sold it for 1200 last time. What if we sold it for 1500 this time? We'll publish that. High price it is. So if it says... Okay. Hello. You want to buy a house at $8,900? I have a 10. This option is too cheap for me. Oh. Okay, too bougie. Right, got it. I was actually looking for something more costly. I don't think I've ever heard anybody ever walk into a real estate agent and be like, yeah, I'm looking for a more expensive house. Okay. One at a time. I'm, I need a house with value of one to two at suburb. I don't have that. A pity indeed. So farewell. A pity to you, sir. Yeah. I don't have that for you. I don't have any of that for you. So unfortunate. Goodbye to you. Yes. Goodbye to you too. I don't have that for you. I'm looking for anybody that wants to buy a tent. I was prepared for a more substantial expense. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. Right. All right. Everybody's coming in for the wrong stuff. Sorry. We're looking for people that don't want to have a house. <laughs> I was prepared for a more substantial expense. Okay. I'm sorry. You know what? Maybe because it's the higher price. Maybe that's why. 
Maybe because it's too high, people are coming in. You know what? Let's put it down back to medium. Twelve hundred. Seventeen thousand dollar house. Okay, no. On you go. I had budgeted for a pricier alternative. You can budget these nuts. All right, on your go. Seventeen. This option is too cheap for me. Okay. My lord. On you. So unfortunate. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. I regret to say that I have no interest in this. When will I have someone that has interest in a tent? There we go. Indeed. Let's give this option some serious thought. Let's do it. Okay. Now we're going. Now we're doing it. Okay. No, I, you, this is going to be a $1,200 tent. This is the perfect fit for me. Yeah. Great job. Wonderful. Thank you. Out I go. Back to the slums. There we go. They didn't want to pitch a tent. Okay. 6100 $1,200. Okay. This is a more expensive tent. So I wonder if we can make a little bit more, a little bit more money off of this tent. Let's see. Yeah. Let's do it. Hello, Birdie. How are you, Birdie? Good to see you. Welcome in. You want that? How about I give you $900? Thanks, but I'll decline. All right. How about I give you $950? No, thanks. Right. How about I give you $1,000? I'll have to say no. Okay, I'm going to find your family. What if I give you $1,050? No, thanks. If I give you $1,100? Exactly what I was looking for. That's exactly what you weren't looking for. You were looking for $92 extra dollars of what you were looking for. Okay. Now I got to go get a sleeping bag. So we own another tent and hopefully we can sell this one for a little bit more right yeah hello allison mm -mm -mm. hello monique what's going on how you doing i love how they talk they talk so weird hello blonde zombie okay shopping expenses bedroom sleeping bag we should probably buy a bunch but i'm gonna do one at a time check out there's nothing else we can add to the tent right now at least i don't think so that's fine um let's go back okay let's do it this way we're grinding for that next level baby we are maybe we'll get more xp for selling a more expensive house we're trying to get the shipping container let's be real here let's get the shipping container down all right. There we go. Okay. There we go. The radio guy left. Did he leave? I didn't notice if he left. Okay. Okay. That's maxed out. Back to the office. <laughs> he did leave. Where did he go? Where did he go? I wanted to turn his radio off again. Okay. Okay. Back to the office. Place this thing up. See if we can maybe get $1,500 for it. That'd be a nice little profit. Estate. Uh, we, what have we spent? 11, 40. Yeah. Can we do 1,500? Is that too high? It's a medium price. Can we do 1,600? Medium price. 1,700? Medium price. 1,800? Medium price. 1900 medium price two thousand dollars medium price holy crap twenty two hundred dollars high price okay twenty one hundred dollars okay two thousand is the highest there we go hello i bet you none of you want to buy a tent sorry but i had budgeted for something more expensive yeah all right 1400 house yeah dude i'm let's right look at this option yes don't lowball me either yeah all right sir 1700 dollars. not gonna do it two thousand dollars this is the perfect fit for me no negotiation needed <laughs> all right all right now we got twenty seven hundred dollars let's go back to the office let's grab ourselves another sleeping bag we are flipping sleeping bags like no other right now 
All right. More sleeping bags. All right. Our money is starting to slowly climb. How much was the container? $6,000? And the school bus was 15 k Maybe we can get to a point where we can like... Is that guy from Squid Games? No. Uh, maybe we can get to a point where like... We can have two tents being sold at the same time, right? Hello, Ninrox. Hello, Bookworm. How's it going? Hello, Aisha. How you doing, Aisha? What's happening? Ah, oh, the guy's back. F your radio. Whoa, there's no tents available. That's not good. We might need to go on to the next day. All right, so no tents are available. That's still for sale. No tents over here. And the school bus is still for sale. Anything else down here? No? Okay. Right. Okay. Well, looks like we need to end the day then. <laughs> Can I put two sleeping bags in one tent? I, you, you might be able to. Hello, cowgirl. How you doing, cowgirl? Hello, Louise. How you doing, Louise? End the shift. <laughs> okay. Now, the question is... Look at this. So, office number one. Customer traffic 100%. Maximum clients three. Purchasing power 100%. Affordable housing. <clears throat> slums, yes. Question mark on suburbs. And then, I guess, as you get more different offices, it kind of... Yeah. All right. Kind of increases. Out we go. <laughs> On we go. Back to see. Wait, that is Slim. Ga is that Slim Games? Is that Squid Games? No. Okay. Um, where are we? What does this look like? You think? Are we like in the UK? This is the UK. Are we in London? It's looking very London, London, Londony. <laughs> this is looking very Londony. I see like red phone booths and stuff. <laughs> All right, continue. Hello, Nico. How you doing, Nico? What's going on? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Radio guy's not here. Okay, nine hundred for that. A thousand dollars for that. What's what about this one? thousand dollars for that okay we might be able to yeah we're gonna buy two we're gonna buy two houses or two tents let's do it hello Raul. how are you doing Raul? i will buy this for seven hundred dollars no thanks okay how about seven fifty dollars thanks but i'll decline thanks go f yourself how about eight hundred no thanks okay eight fifty that's what i need all right great $850 for that tent. Hello, Dylan. How are you, Dylan? You started watching the videos because you got really interested in Supermarket Sim. Nice. Got me interested in the game? That's awesome. Hope you're enjoying that. We might have enough to buy three tents. Actually, hang on a sec. Let me go back and put the sleeping bag in this one. We might have enough to buy three. Yeah. It looks like London, but you are using dollars. This is true. This is very true. Very true. How much is the bus? $15,000. Let's go in here. If I can get a good deal on this, yeah. At least they're being polite. I mean, I guess, right? 700. No thanks. Okay. 800. That's what I need. Oh, we are going to get the other one, I think. Yeah, I think we're going to get the other one. Yeah. We're going to have three tents under our control. Because this is only 900. So we can really talk this one down. <laughs> 600. I'll have to say no. I'll have to talk to your uh, parents. 700. Thanks, but I'll decline. Ooh, 725. No, thanks. How about 790? exactly what i was looking for you were exactly looking for 898 don't trick me okay now we need to go buy two we need to go buy two uh sleeping bags fill them up and then we have three houses we have three tents we can sell to these people 
Oh, this is great. Um, okay, office. Are your parents home? $15,000? That's expensive for a bus. Do you see I'm selling like a thousand dollar tent over here? <laughs> I, I, that's what I'm saying. This is somebody's getting screwed over here. Okay, two of those. Check out. I actually all these people are getting screwed. There we go. You're heading to Dick's Sporting Goods for tents now? <laughs> Ah, yeah. It's not just the tents. Hey, it's subscriber. prime location. They're in the best location. They must be like... Where are they? They're like in the sewage here behind these houses. Yeah, this is definitely sewage. Thank you for subscribing, Raul. Appreciate it. Hello. Stop it. Okay, this one needs a tent. Or sorry, needs a sleeping bag. Yeah. There we go. Okay, uh, now I'll place the other one and then we'll put all three of these tents on the market. We actually might be able to have enough to buy the container potentially. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hello, savvy devil. How are you? I'm kind of rude. So I'm being, I'm asking them now. We're not selling this tent for a certain thing that goes in needles, right? <laughs> If I wanted to screw over people, I would have sold the bus for $900,000. I mean, if you can find an, a buyer, yeah. <laughs> Unless you're like, no, you're forced to buy this bus for $900,000. Right, let's see here. All right, let's go put all these on the market now. This is going to be a good day. Are these tents like the ones in Harry Potter for that price? <laughs> Every oh crap everybody we're selling our harry potter tents get ready two thousand dollars too high i understand um location 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 eighteen hundred dollars too high sixteen hundred dollars fifteen hundred dollars okay fifteen hundred dollars is good sixteen hundred dollars for this one okay fifteen hundred dollars for this one there we go. Uh, seventeen hundred dollars for this one. Okay, sixteen hundred. There we go. Okay, cool. All right. Hello. Look, out of here. Get out of here. It's a pity. Goodbye then. You don't have to say it's a pity. Just I don't have what you're looking for. You know. I need a house at seventeen thousand. It's a pity. Goodbye then. I don't have that. 1400 I have that for you, sir. Yes, let's look at this option. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Hogwarts called. They want their tents back. Uh, 1360 Uh, How about 1600 Exactly what I was looking for. These people suck at negotiating. <laughs> back to the office. <laughs> you guys don't do a very good job at negotiating, now do you? Hello, Dark Lynx. How are you? $1,600 with no plumbing. Absolutely no plumbing. I got nothing for you. Quite unfortunate. So long. Okay. Don't have anything for you. A pity indeed. Why do you have so to say... farewell. Okay, fine. You don't need to... What? $63,000? Sir, didn't you read the sign outside? I'm selling Hogwarts tents. dollars $63,000. You come in looking for her? no a pity indeed no so none of that well absolutely not yeah i don't think so get out of here you too you're gone 63 get out of here pity. goodbye then it's always a pity mentindo gaming hello hey how you doing thanks for following on twitch how are you doing hope you're doing well do you get a mailbox you get a mailbox with that tent <laughs> you find these people rude i it's know it's a pity goodbye then it's it's funny because it's like look i don't have the house that you're looking for well that's a pity how how could you not have the house i'm looking for yes i'm open to considering this option okay i'm glad let's do it daylight robbery 
<laughs> so funny. Um, fifteen hundred, please. Exactly what I was looking for. There's no, it's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, we're over halfway now to level two. Back to this. You're doing good. You forgot to follow you over there. Oh, thank you. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Yeah, well, you said you're doing well, so good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. No, can't Very do that. Very bad. Goodbye. Very bad. Goodbye. It's a pity. Goodbye. Okay, next. 1400 I got what you want, baby. Great idea. I'm willing to examine this option. Let's do it. Mm, 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 mm. 1500 Exactly what I was looking for. We have $4,700 now. Let's go back to the office. Let's sleep. $4,700. We are this close from getting a container. Very close from getting a container. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Dude, they should have checked my real estate. Uh, oh, I should have actually hang on. Let me go. Let me buy a bunch of. Um, let me buy a bunch of sleeping bags first. They should check my website. You know. Hey. I specialize in tents and school buses and shipping containers. You should know what you're getting yourself into. Walking in with $63,000. How dare you? Um, I'm assuming we can get three more tents again. Maybe four. I'll go for four. Just in case. We don't know. There we go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What if you negotiate higher than what you put? That's a good idea. We can try that. Be like, you try to talk me down. Now I'm going to over talk you. Right? Yeah. There's a secret place in the slums? What the hell are you talking about? There's a secret place in the slums. Are you serious? Turn your radio off. There's a secret place in the slums. You need to look around? Are you pulling my leg? Secret place in the slums? Maybe at the top? So like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle somewhere. You can go in somebody's backyard. I'm going up to the top. I'm gonna check. I'll, I'll check up top. I'll do that. Yeah. How far can I go out? I think you're. The other end? Wait, what? This end? I think you're pulling my leg. It's in the sewers? You're pulling my leg, aren't you? What is this? Hello? This is somebody's house, isn't it? somebody's house to the far end what kind of secret place could possibly be over here What happened to the rat? What happened to the rat? Was that a collectible? This is definitely, uh, turtles live here. You, 
can't see a freaking thing though. <laughs> Holy crap, you can't see anything. Hurdles live there. 100%. Looks like a shell of a time. Did I eat the rat? I hope not. Okay. Refocus. <laughs> Tent. Thousand dollars. Let's get him. What happened to the rat? Was it just, is it like a collectible that you just hold on to? Uh, look here. 700. Thanks, but I'll decline. Yeah, all right. 800. I'll have to say no. I will have to put a foot in your ass. 850. No, thanks. 900. This is the perfect fit for me. Shut up. Next. Actually, put the freaking bed in there first, then go to the next one. You've got a liberator? Excuse me, what? Am I confusing something with something? There we go. That was a piggy bank? What, like a ratty bank? That was a rat, wasn't it? That was no pig. <laughs> Pull out my paint roller in the sewers. Ooh, this is cheap. 500? I'll have to say no. By 50. I'll have to say no. When will you say yes? That's what I need. Got it. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Pretty cheap. Out we go. That was a piggy bank? Oh, dude. You're telling me that was a pig in a bank? There's no way. Any other tents I can buy over here? Or just those two? Just those two. Okay. All right. Enough. <laughs> I'm bullying that guy, ain't I? <laughs> so sad. All right, we have at least two tents we can do. We can do two tents. We can at least do that. It was a ratty bank. Wasn't it a ratty bank? Hey, there he is. Yeah, that's a rat, dude. How is that a piggy bank? You tell me how that's a piggy bank. In what world do you put... What? Piggy bank. 650 can I sell the for a thousand medium price 1100 1200 okay 1100 it is whoops Eleven hundred. there we go hello how are you why is it so pink I think it's white and pink I mean rats are white and rats are pink Right? It's a pity. It Goodbye, is a pity. Then. Goodbye. Get out of here. Get out of here. Master. Sp I mean, it's a rat. Duh, it's a rat because it's a reference to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You see all the pepper. You see all the freaking. Was it the cheese pizzas or the pizzas? Yeah. Well, I think those were actually pepperoni a pizzas. Pity but indeed. You know so, the reference. Farewell. That's why there's all those. Pizza boxes. It's a rat. I need a house with one value at slum. I got you. Great idea. Let's I'm willing it. to examine yeah. this option. Hello, a pal. How's it going? What's going on, a pal? Let's go over. What was it? Eleven. What if I did twelve hundred? That's what I need. <laughs> okay. So I overpriced him now. I said the tent was $1,100. He came back at me for $900. I say, F that noise. I'm going $1,200. <laughs> and he accepted. They are terrible at negotiating. Holy crap. I'm declining people who I want, uh, who want what I'm selling. I don't think so. Right? Yes, let's look at this. Option. Everybody else wants like $60,000 house, right? Or two bedrooms, one to two or one to two, not two bedrooms, one to two level. And most of them are two level, but yeah. 1200 again. This is the perfect fit nice. for me. I will massively overprice them. They will get this. How much money do we have? 
5400 okay we're not too far off from the container right not too far off i don't know well we have a couple of i think we have a couple already on us right yeah we already have two on us let's go we already have two uh sleeping bags on us why don't you sell the tents for much more money you mean like high price you want me to list them as high prices instead of medium prices i feel like if i list them at high prices i'm never gonna sell them but i guess i could i could list them at high prices too okay oh there's three three this time they're all 900 let's do it Try it for science. All right, I'll max hell price them. Six hundred. No thanks. Seven hundred. I'll have to say no. Seven fifty. This is the perfect fit for me. Great. Okay. Sell one for five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollar tent, you say? Hello. Uh, 500? Thanks, but I'll decline. 550? I'll have to say no. 600. Thanks, but I'll decline. 650. Thanks, but I'll decline. 680. Exactly what I was looking for. Nice. I'm gonna need one more tent. Or sorry, one more uh, sleeping bag. Yeah. Was that guy in a business suit? <laughs> business suit in the sewers? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, no. 600. No, thanks. 650. Thanks, but I'll decline. No, thanks. 750. That's what I need. There we go. I don't think I have one, right? Nope. Renting out tents? Uh, not really renting out tents. Uh, selling tents. Yeah, we're about to get level two as well. Can I fit more sleeping bags? I mean maybe but i don't think it changes the value because it has a max a max reputation kind of thing but yeah like um what is it called i don't think it changes the price or the or anything about it are these people paying over a thousand dollars for a tent instead of a studio apartment or something uh inflation and priorities <laughs> these are the other offices buy this house for a million dollars or sorry this office for a million dollars Seventy-five thousand for that one okay mm -mm 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 -mm. selling tents and then the owner sells those tents the same way for more that's true like watch when I go into let's say this one when I go here there's like a max on the reputation when I place it down so like in the other side of the screen it's like one out of two and then I place it down it's like maxed out so I don't think it benefits us if we put more items in here but yeah okay three three okay all right, we're gonna level up and I think we'll have enough money to afford the container here in a sec. Uh, let's try it for science and see what happens if we put a massive amount of money or a massive listing, right? On one of the tents. Will they still buy it? $2,000. It's obviously a high price. Let's see what happens. We'll do $2,000 across the entire board. Let's do that. See if we can sell one. Hello. I was hoping for a more premium cost. What the hell does that mean? Okay. Nope. A pity indeed. A pity so, indeed. So farewell. Yes, I'm open to considering this option. I'll, if she's actually going to buy this for a high price, this is going to be wild, dude. Seventeen hundred dollars you'll give me for it. How about I upcharge you to twenty five hundred dollars? Thanks, but I'll decline. How about I upsell you to twenty three hundred dollars? This is the perfect oh fit God. for me. 
plus five sales income new area new items okay so it's obvious that the negotiation is a little bit broken in this game <laughs> Don't worry. This is very early build. I'm playing it, you know, a few weeks before it comes out on um, on Steam. So uh, at the end of March is when it will come out. So there's probably going to be changes by the time, you know, it comes and goes. Right. Um, so that worked. Let's go sell the other ones. Hey, and this is a good, actually a good point to make. If there's any suggestions or things uh to be noted as far as like changes to be made and things like that in the game or maybe anything like that leave them down in the comment section below i'm sure the developer will or the developer will be watching this i'm pretty sure and um they will read like suggestions and things like that in, in the comments so don't forget to do that uh this i'm sorry but i don't have any interest obviously in that. the negotiations a little bit wonk yes i'm open to considering this option as you can see but yeah What was it? 22? What, did I charge her 2300 last time or? Thanks, but I'll decline. 2200. That's what I need. Hell yeah. Look at that. 193% excellent job. You think? <laughs> it's a very excellent job. Okay, one more house, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, one more house. Hello, Minja. How are you, Minja? I'm What's sorry, going on? but I don't have any interest in that. Oh, sorry. Go ahead and leave. I'm not interested. Okay. I'm sorry. Hello. I was actually thinking of something with a greater cost. All right. On you go. On you go. On you go. So unfortunate. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. My lord. I was prepared for a more substantial expense. This guy coming in. Look, you're coming in for seven, like looking for a house for $17,000 and I offer you a $2,000 tent. You better take it. Sorry, this price is too high for me. Oh, somebody actually said the price was too high. All right, all right, all right. Okay. So we did get denied a little bit. We did get denied. Keely, thank you for the one month. Says, ever since finding you, I loved all your videos. Thank you for bringing peace to my work days at a not so peaceful place. Oh, I might have, I don't know how long that's been there, but I appreciate Unfortunately, you. Unfortunately, I can't agree to this price. Thank you it's for that. Too high. I was actually thinking of something with a greater cost. Thank you for that. Thank you for the kind words. And I hope you're right. I hope you're all right. Yeah. I was actually thinking of something with yes, a greater yes. cost. My lord it's not that far off from actual real estate i had family members who were in real estate and they would always try to upsell their properties oh i mean i was I, actually thinking of something with a greater cost any anything with sales right you always want to upsell right always. sorry but i had budgeted for something more expensive we always want to get that commission baby yeah mm -mm -mm -mm. Upselling it on 5k. Let's see. Like, what about the people that come in and are like, oh, I'm interested in an $8,000 house. Right? I and I show them a $5,000 tent. No interest in this. You think that would work? Regrettably, this is beyond what I can afford. I mean, honestly, yeah, I agree. Doesn't quite pique my interest. I wonder if there's a collectible at the at the suburban area too. Sorry, it doesn't interest me in the least. I think we're striking out though hard, which is good. We should be striking out. We shouldn't be able to, you know. I'm sorry, but I don't have any hit it with five thousand every time, or like hit it like, like uh, you know, overprice them. It should be like this. This is this is it should be like this. I'm not interested. I'm sorry. Your workday is over. Finish your shift in your office. Okay, see, let's push that down now. Even 2000s high, right? Eight, 1900? 
you know what 2000 we'll stick at 2000 we sold them at 2000 let's do that 2000 yeah we sold that 2000 we can afford a um we can afford a, a shipping container now so that's cool sorry but i had budgeted for something more expensive am i still playing a state agent simulator i mean probably I just I keep an eye on it for like updates and stuff. Yes, I'm inclined to give but this yeah. option a closer look. Let's see. Well, no, we've already done the high high like like you have to take them to the tent. So even if we listed it like they're not going to go too too high, right? So right now we listed this at 2000. They want to do it for uh, 1700. It's not like we can go like, "Oh, 3000." I'll have to say no. Since we have it listed at 2,000, the highest we could probably go is 2,200. That's what I need. There you go. 223% excellent job. $9,000. Let's go to the suburban area and see how much a house costs. What? Oh, it's that girl again. Dude, it's her. It's her again. Do you remember her? Is that supermarket simulator girl? I can't remember. Or is that dealer simulator girl? I forgot who it is. Um, anyways, yeah, let's take a look at the. Um, wow, three hundred thousand dollars, three hundred eight thousand dollars. Okay, we might be a little bit out of our budget right now. Okay, that, that, that's more of our budget. Thirty-five thousand dollars, forty-seven thousand dollars. Okay, all right. Now we have an idea. Now we have an idea. How much does this cost? Four hundred and twenty-two thousand dollars. Okay. Thirty, forty-ish. I guess that could get us somewhere, right? Let's go to the slums. See if we could buy ourselves a container. Small world. This is a supermarket girl, right? Have a good night, Lady Fluffy Dragon. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Do take care. I'm doing it. I'm buying the container. Hello. I will give you 7,500 for this. No, thanks. I will give you $7,800 for this. That's what I need. Nice. Okay. Now this, I don't know if this is going to play differently because it's a container rather than a tent. We obviously want to put a sleeping bag, but what if we put like, well, what if we put something else? Wait a sec. It's a $1,200 tent. Like, what if we put other... Oh. You. What if we put... Like, an actual bed in there? Will that change the price of the... Container? You know? So, now that we have new stuff unlocked... Like a bed, a poor bed, apparently. Um, it says plus 150 crowns. Maybe we should test it out. Yeah. Interior essentials. Give them a plant. Walls. But again, I don't think this stuff matters right now. Like, I don't even think this matters. What? Let's do sleeping bag again. I'll try this out and I'll see if this hits us at max already. I'll do that. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Hello, Miss Teddy. How you doing, Miss Teddy? And we have a penthouse. Now we're moving up in the world. Okay. Okay. If we place a sleeping bag in here, will that max our thing out? Let's see. Yeah, okay, so it still maxes it out. So it doesn't matter. Like, if we wanted to, like, put a bunch of stuff in this container. It is what it is, right? Okay, that's fine. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna buy this. Let's buy this. I will say, the thing about this game is there is a lot 
a lot of I'll have to say no. Oops. I'll have to say no. 700. This is the perfect fit for me. There is a lot of loading screens in this game, as you could probably notice. Um, most of it, you know, you have to like, oh, I got to go all the way back to use the computer. Now, there's a couple of locked items here. Maybe we'll be able to have like a, a, a tablet so that I can be like, oh, I'm just going to order something real quick right now, right? Instead of go all the way back into the, um, I can get that for cheaper. Oh, I, I can. Instead of going all the way back to the office, going onto the computer, you know, and, and, and getting items and whatnot. But so far, there's like a lot of loading screens. I'll have to say no. That I'm noticing. No, thanks. Okay. Thousand? That's what I need. Okay, cool. We got it. It is a lot of loading screens. You got to like jump through a lot. There you are. Okay, let's go to the office now. Maybe the price you can set it as medium goes up with more slash better things. That's what I was thinking too. I was thinking that too, but that's what I was hoping at least. I don't know. At least with the maximum kind of level thing, it tells me that might not be the case. At least for the slums here. Um, we need two. Yeah, two of these. Right? Two? Yeah. I think I go through this loading screen to then go through another loading screen. Yeah. To then go through another loading screen <laughs> to place the sleeping bag down. If you could go straight from the office, maybe to here. That would be better, right? Um, and then if you could have a tablet and whatnot, right? Of course. Zombie Panda! Hello, thank you for the super chat. Just jumping in to say hi while I'm on a lunch break. Going to resort the stream. Hello, Zombie Panda. How are you? What did the man do, do to you? The man with the radio do to you? He turned on the radio. That's what he did to me. Bus price did go down quite a bit. It went from 15k to 10k. There we go. Okay, now these are ready to go. All right, we're gonna sell our first, um, our first, I guess, container. Yeah, we'll sell our first container. Bum bum ba dum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Da -da -da. Now, I really hope you can actually line this up with a, a bunch of like collectibles. That'd be really cool. That is, I, hang on a second. I, can I crouch in this game? I can. Y'all were saying, look at that. That's a pig. I can't. I, I'm questioning what you think a pig looks like. Like, doesn't a pig have like a twirly, uh, twirly thingamabobber? behind its rear end a twirly uh a twirly uh what is it called a twirly uh tail twirly tail okay 1800 1500 1400 1300 Okay, that's good. Uh, now, this is going to be a little bit different. We spent 7,800. Let's go 15,000. Too high. 13,000. 14,000. 14,5. Ooh. 14,8. Oh. 14,9. Okay. 14,8. There we go. Feeling pretty good about that. Yeah. Feeling really good about that. I had budgeted for a pricier alternative. Shit. I, I am so sorry. I did not mean to do that to you. My bad. Uh, end the shift day. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right. Ding dong. Hello. I'm sorry, but this price is higher than I expected. All right. Well, you can leave then. There we go. 1300 Indeed. Let's Perfect. give this option some serious thought. Now, I'm going to upcharge him up to like 1500 <laughs> Exactly what I was looking for. There we go. Okay. Nice. I do like how they have a Photoshop pictures of the property, so they look somewhat nice. I know they're so false advertising. Like the, it's like a tent in like a middle of a of a glowy field, and a and a it, it's and then it's like under a bridge. Like what? Like it's like ah oh, yeah, so it looks so nice, and then it's like not nice. I'm not interested. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, not, a pity indeed. A pity so indeed. farewell. So farewell. Hello, Susie. How are you? It's a piggy rat. Uh, yes. Have a good one, bookworm. Do take care. Thanks for hanging out with us. Unfortunately, I can't agree to this price. It's too high. All right. On you go. I was actually thinking of something with a greater cost. Okay. Regrettably, this is beyond what I can afford. Okay. Sorry, this price is too high for me. This is going to hurt. I'm not going to be able to find a buyer for that house now, aren't they? They're passive aggressive a little bit. I'd love to make a deal, but this price is just too high. I'm sorry, but this price is higher than I expected. You're making me question everything. Yes, I'm inclined to give this option a closer look. Good, I'm gonna sell it for you for two thousand dollars. That's what I'm gonna do. Exactly what I was looking for. Same. Okay. This container is gonna be kind of a, a, a little bit of a yeah yeah. It's gonna be a little bit of a yeah yeah. Okay, let's see here. They they keep saying it's too high. Let's go fourteen five hundred. Hello. I was hoping for a more reasonable price. Okay. This is too high. I had budgeted for a pricier alternative. Nobody says that. Nobody says I'm looking for a pricier alternative. $8,000. The price is, uh, is higher than I expected. Okay. Look here. I'm... Oh. I was looking for something more costly. Lady, I'm $3,000 off your budget. What do you mean? <sighs> I'm not interested. I'm going to sell sorry. this damn thing. I had budgeted for a pricier alternative. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sorry, but this price is higher than I expected. I'm selling this freaking thing, dude. I was actually thinking of something with a greater cost. Something for a greater cost. Okay. I'm not interested. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine if you're not interested in my shipping container. That's fine. Okay. We're going to hit it. We're going to... Somebody's going to hit here. We have to get a hit. Right? It's a pity. Goodbye then. It's not a pity. You're looking for sixty-four thousand dollars, and I and I specifically put on the website fourteen thousand uh, dollars shipping container. Same with you, sir. You already know what I'm selling. You come in, you see my website. It says what it says. You already know what you're coming into. I was actually thinking of something with a greater cost. Get out. Look, eighty-four hundred dollars. Sorry, this price is too high for me. Okay, look. We're going to have to bump it down then. It has to be a $10,000 container. I think it has to be a $10,000 container for this particular person. Yes, let's look at this option. Great. I'm going to sell it for you for $14,000. You don't even know it yet. That's what I need. We did it. <laughs> Hooray! What about the school bus? 
Oh, I'm going in for the school bus, dude. All right, school bus time. What in the... Oh, hello. 8,000? I'll buy it for 6,000. I'll have to say no. 6,500? I'll have to say no. 6,800. That's what I need. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay, okay. All right. I need a sleeping bag. I don't have one. Okay. We're in the school bus now. It doesn't make sense. I know. It doesn't. So, uh, I think what you could do... <clears throat> I think what you could do is... You can actually find the tippy top of the medium price lower the price of the sale of whatever you're doing and then upsell them to the tippy top of the price if that makes any sense that's what you can do yeah now again this bus doesn't need anything fancy i think it just needs a sleeping bag too until we get into like the houses and when we are start doing the houses and stuff and customizing the houses, right? But again, a little too heavy on the, on the, on the, on the, uh, on the loading screens. Okay. Let's do it. School bus. We'll find our happy medium with the school bus. Place this here. Okay, that's maxed out. I mean, people live in school buses. People also live in shipping containers. It's tiny houses. So, it's not unheard of. I mean, technically, people do live in tents. But, I mean, people choose to live in school buses. And, 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 and choose to live in, like, shipping containers. I don't know if anybody really wants to choose to live in a tent. But... Sometimes you have to, right? What's well, the description with this? Step back in the time with a retro revival retreat. Decked out in vibrant vintage inspired colors and furnishings. This tent is the deal spot, ideal spot to showcase mid-century modern furniture, vinyl records, and nostalgic memorabilia. I hate to break it to you, but this is not a tent. This is a school bus. $20,000. High price, $19,000. High price, $18,000. $17,000. I'm trying to find the, the medium. $16,000. $15,000. Okay. $14,000. $13,000. What in the hell? $12,000. Okay. $12,000. So what I'll do is I will price it at uh seven thousand dollars and then i will sell it at twelve thousand dollars low price look that's all right yes let's look at this option okay now i'm going to sell it for twelve thousand dollars this is the perfect fit for me i'm the greatest of all time we have 22k now we have $22,000. I still don't think it's enough to to buy a, a house or anything. So we're going to do like a full on like clean sweep of the slums in the next shift. Purpose, pal. Thank you for following on Twitch. Hello. So let's end the shift and then let's do a full sweep on on the slums. And just upsell everyone and try to make ourselves get into the suburban area. Yeah. There we go. Bit of insulation containers and quite warm and cozy. I take it. I take it. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. They can do amazing things with shipping containers now. They can. I agree. And for some of you that weren't here in the beginning, this is developed by the same developer that did the Parking Tycoon business game that we played on the channel. So if you like the Parking Tycoon game, uh, these are the same devs. All right, let's do a full sweep here. 
We'll buy everybody out. No, thanks. You know what I like about this game a little bit more than... Uh, I'll have to say no. Than Supermarket Sim? I'll have to say no. I get to use the numpad. <laughs> this is the perfect fit for me. That's... That's it. How did I buy... I didn't buy damn sleeping bags. Okay. Okay. Go, go, go. Really? There's nothing available for us? Really? Okay. Right? Have a good night, Lena. Thanks for hanging out with us. Have a good rest of your night, Lena. Appreciate it. I'll have to say no. You've been wondering for a while, do Twitch creators get anything from the redemption points on here? Uh, Thanks, no. but I'll decline. No, that's all just for the viewers stuff. I'll have to say no. Thanks, but I'll decline. You're hurting me. Exactly what I was looking for. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. It's like hydration redemption points. I see like hey, I, subscriber, like twenty hydration redemptions throughout the entire stream, at least once a stream. I feel like everybody wants me to piss my pants. By the way, thank you for subscribing, John Morrison. Hello, eight thousand dollars. I'll have to say no. $9,000. This is the perfect fit Ooh. for me. That's good. Okay. Three sleeping bags we need to get. Yeah. Radio guy just casually restarting his radio every time. Whenever he sees you. And he's gone. All right. Let's go get the three sleeping bags. If we get around 30000 40000 we might be able to buy a house. So there's that. Is it better to support on YouTube or Twitch? Uh, well, YouTube mostly, because that's what I build everything off of is YouTube. Twitch is just another thing that I'm doing on the side, I guess you could say. There we go. But ultimately, YouTube is the best, best place to support me. Yeah, support the channel. Twitch is the side chick. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Twitch is the side chick. So I, side chick that I'm trying to partner up with, but it's taking some time. <laughs> it's taking some time. Taking some time. <laughs> try to go see if you can jump into anybody else's. I'll, I'll try to see if I can. Yeah, I'll try to see if I can jump into anybody else's tent and see if I can buy it nonetheless. Can I like intrude? Oh, you just can't go in it at all. Okay. Is this container ever for sale? Wait a sec. I just realized we've been in here. Yeah. Why aren't we just buying this too? Very good point. Four thousand dollars. No thanks. It's like a secret container that doesn't have a for sale sign outside. No thanks. Okay. Six thousand. I'll have to say no. Uh, how about sixty three hundred? This is the perfect fit for me. It is the perfect fit. Thank you. Am I gonna have a container and two tents and a bus? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That works out. I need one more tent now, but you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> Nerdy Nana, thank you for following on Twitch. Hello. Appreciate that. All right, we need one more. 
Hello, Ashley. How you doing, Ashley? Is this game UK based as it looks like the UK bus stop minus the smash glass amongst the other thing? Yeah, well, I, I, I feel like it might be UK based. We were talking about that earlier. We we're like, it kind of looks like we're in London, but at the same time, there's like big suburban area. And then at the same time, I'm using, I'm using like, you know, USD. <laughs> we don't know where this is at. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> yeah, let's go here get another one there we go can i put a bed in the bus i technically could yeah i i i, I believe i could i don't think it would help our value though so that's why i haven't like actually done it i'm gonna save the real beds for like the suburban houses uh let's go back to the slums Oh yeah, what color is your guys' school buses in like the UK? You guys have like, sir, do you guys have like different colored uh, yellow bu uh, school buses? Can't go on that one. You guys don't have yellow school buses. You guys have something else, right? Or do you have yellow school buses? What color is your school buses? There we go. Your school buses are city buses in Australia. You don't have school buses. What? We use general buses. Oh, you use just regular commute buses. Huh? I wonder why. Interesting. So you have a school. You guys have buses where you have to take to go to school. But it could be anybody on the bus. So your children are on the bus with anybody. Anybody? I guess so. Because you don't have to go very far. You guys live on top of each other. How is that going for you? There we go. Okay, 1100. Uh, 10,000? 11,000? 12,000? Okay, 11,000. Okay. Oh, shite. Fourteen hundred? Fifteen hundred? Fifteen hundred. Not fifteen thousand. Okay. Your schools are all very close. How many like I need never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not even going to the the question the logistics here. We usually drive the children to school anyway. I mean, like, yeah, but like, what if you have to like work, or what if you have to like multiple kids that go to different schools? Nothing like that. I was hoping for a more reasonable price. This right. is too high. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't agree to this price. Okay, okay, it's okay. It's too high. Quite unfortunate. So long. <laughs> yes, I'm open to considering this option. Yeah! Okay. The question is, can I get you for 20k here? 
That's what I need. Ooh, you just bought a $20,000 school bus. That's under a bridge permanently. Let's go. You get sibling discounts if the kids go to the same school? What is the hell does that mean? Sibling discounts? Wait, do you have to pay? To put your kids in school? I'm a little... What? I regret to say that I have no interest in this. You're talking about daycare. What are you talking about? The yes, kids? let's look at this option. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I have six schools within a mile of each other along one straight road. My goodness. What in the world? 1600. This is the perfect fit nice. for me. Hello, Bruce. <laughs> bus fees and school fees? You, wait, in Australia, you have to pay bus fees and school fees? Australia has to pay bus fees and school fees. Is that what I'm hearing? Yes, let's look at this option. Fifteen hundred. That's what I need. <laughs> that sounds like a bad deal. People are like, ah, the Australian dollar is so high. I mean, shite, man. That's on a whole nother thing, though. In Australia, if you make low income, you don't have to pay for the bus. But if you make high income, you have to pay. Huh. I was prepared for a more substantial expense. This I'm is like sorry. news to me. You have to pay for bus fees and school fees in the Very US? Bad. Goodbye. I I Yes, let's look at this option. To like what degree? Like what schools are you going to? Right? Twenty thousand. No thanks. <laughs> Nineteen thousand. I'll have to say no. 18,000. Thanks, but I'll decline. Okay, 17,000. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, he actually, we can't, we can't string him on too far. Yeah. Can't string him on too far. I'm sorry, but this price is higher than I expected. <laughs> yeah, there's no bus fees, at least in my area either. There's no bus fees, no school fee, like school fee. Like, I don't know. It depends on what you consider school fee, though. I was prepared for a more. There's a lot of different things expense. going on, but yeah. I'm sorry. Yes, let's look at this option. <laughs> You're in the U.S. Your niece and nephew go to public school, and my brother has to pay for the bus. I think it all depends on your town. Holy crap, that's crazy. I guess it depends like if you live in like a rural area, right? Too. If you live in a rural area, right? I don't know. That's insane. Exactly bus what I was fees. looking for. That's the first time I've heard of bus fees. That's crazy. Uh, we might be able to get a house here. I think somebody's at my door. Yeah. Hey, subscriber. I think somebody's at my door. I think it was the postman possibly. I might be able to talk them down on this. Well, I got to give myself some budget to actually put stuff in the house. No, 47,000. Thanks, Montez, for subscribing. Appreciate it. 42,000. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. State and county. No one wants to pay taxes, but everyone wants services. It's true. So true. I'm doing my taxes right now, and oh my god. Having a f great time with that. Can't wait for April 15th. Sheesh. Uh, 42,000. Let's do... Maybe 35,000 can we offer? Exactly what I was looking for. Alright. Okay, we have a house. And uh, look at that. Uh, what the hell? I have 
beer, milk, and peanut butter. All right. Okay. Beer, milk, and peanut butter. What in the hell is going on here? I have a bathtub. I have a washer, but I don't have a toilet. That's a dryer. Sorry. What am I supposed to do? Take a... Okay. What? Maybe the dryer and the toilet should swap places. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not an expert here, but I think the dryer and the toilet could probably swap places. Take me to the office. It's a $32,000 house. What did you expect? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Well, this place doesn't have a freaking bedroom, first and foremost. Let's do wood planks. I don't know how much we need to buy. I'll buy one for each for now. I'll buy a sofa. Another sofa. A lamp. A plant. You know what? I'll give you a bed. Fine. That's all you're going to get. That's all you're going to get. I'll be right back. I'm going to go. I hear people knocking, I think. Uh, so I'll be right back. Let me go ahead and check the, um, the check the door real quick. See who it is. I will be all right back. Hang on a sec. Redhead. Hey, stranger. Uh oh. Want to come inside and rest those weary, weary legs? Oh, geez. It'll only cost a pineapple. A pineapple? pineapple? That's it. Is that all? Why don't you come back when you're ready? A pineapple? How far? Well, if it was that easy just for a pineapple, I think we this world would be a very happy place now, wouldn't it? Um, Probably best to leave that where it is. There's something in there. Is that a wooden you know what? Is that? Hey! Is that a... <clears throat> Anyways. Mash her. The knockin' shop. Uh. Risties are five dollars. Gobbies are twenty dollars. Rooties are fifty dollars. Mash her dinner is a hundred dollars. Uh, oh, that's hilarious! <laughs> oh my god. That 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 okay, that 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 that. Okay. I forgot what this was. Did I do it? Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god. I'm so bad, but I'm so good. Here, what's going on? Good to see you. The bar bars in healthcare actually makes sense. Was there a box? Did I miss a crate? I did. Oh, frick me in the face. Oh. Oh. Go. Let's put this right here. Okay. There you go. If anybody wants to uh, do any, uh, you know, make, you know, do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight, they're going to have to do it on this side of the dock now. Is that a freaking peacock that just showed up with a chicken? This game is throwing me into a freaking loop here, I tell ya. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let. Oh my god. I... Might have killed somebody. Watch where you're going, forehead! 110 trees, one small stone deposit, and it even tells you what resources are over there. 132 trees, one ruins. 
109 trees, iron deposit, and a pig herd. Yo, I gotta go for the pigs. Tree, fish, large stone, sheep herd. Nah, dude. Hit me with the pig. Sick. Build an inn and assign an innkeeper now. Man. Okay. So let's see here. We have this territory, which is this big hill territory. You said there's pigs over here? Somewhere maybe? Oh, there they are. Look. Oh my god. <laughs> dude. Look at it. It's so good. Look how cute that thing is, dude. Oh my lord. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Okay, I'm back. Hello. It was a heavy package, heavy box that had to bring up the stairs. All right, we're back. Okay. Mm. Hello. 4 p.m. on the West Coast. Hello. Thank you very much, everybody, for re-upping your membership. Appreciate that. Hello. Welcome back, operator. That scared the shit out of me. I forgot that's even a thing. What in the world? I thought I was hacked. My goodness gracious. Thank you, Miss Teddy. <sighs> My lord. Did the delivery guy ask you if your parents were home? No, they did not this time. But thanks for clarifying. <sighs> okay. Okay. Um. We have stuff. Let's go put stuff in. Yeah. Let's go do it. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, back to the suburban. Suburban. <laughs> not a Chevy suburban. Not a... I'm not gonna drive a suburban over here. Uh, suburbia, suburban area. Yeah. Go into the house that makes no sense. Toilet in its own room with bathtub and dryer in the other. Look, I played a, a couple years ago. I played uh, about two or three years ago. I played House Slipper on the channel. And I always questioned why people would put washer, washers and dryers in the bathroom. Now, from where I live, that is like very abnormal, but apparently from like different parts of the world, it's very normal to have, um, how do we do this? To have the floor. Oh, it's just one thing. Okay, I see. All right, I'm gonna need to buy multiple of that. Uh, it's normal to have your washer and dryer in the bathroom. This I had no idea about. I don't even know where I'm gonna put this. Okay. Okay. have a little little light there to read i guess yeah little plant in the corner as far as your bedroom or as far as your bed goes look you are sleeping right there as soon as you walk in through the door boom bed love to see it look at the outside look at the outside it's like a irl picture of something That's funny. Okay. Uh, look at the reputation. So the reputation is not even at full two stars. So we need to fix that. Yeah. We might need to buy a bunch of like flooring and wallpaper too. The plumbing is already there. Much less expensive to run the washer and dryer there too. I mean, where we always lived, washer and dryer always went into the garage. Because that's where all that stuff was always at. Right? But I mean, if you want your washer and dryer to run on the same water line, I feel like that would be a bad idea. Right? Maybe not. If they're all in the same system and one goes out, then they all go out, right? Or is that not how that works? Um, well, we'll buy stuff first. Let's go walls. Um, field of flowers. Let's do that. Concrete, bricks, maybe bricks, marble. Nah, nah. 
We'll put marble in the bathroom. I don't know how much to buy, dude. Um, and then flower stuff. Heal the flowers, right? Yeah. 20. Floors. 10. $500. Yeah. Depends on the house layout. It does depend on the house layout, ultimately, too. Thank you for the super chat. Kansas is definitely not a home decor expert. I am not. No. I am far from it. Absolutely far from it. Hello, native beauty. How are you? There we go. Because, like, always, any house we've ever been in, like, the whole water line system and everything, like, everything is, like, all ready to go. Boom. Garage. Right? You just hook it up. Boom. Bam. Great. Right? I don't know. Interesting. 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 Uh, like, even now, like, I've, I've, I've just never lived in a house where washer and dryer were, were in a, uh, were in a bathroom. They've either been in a garage, in a living room, not in any living room, in a hallway, sorry, in a hallway. Like, even now, our laundry is, like, in a, uh, in, in the, or our, our laundry machines are in a hallway, right? There we go. I don't know. I feel like kind of also like putting your clothes, putting your dirty clothes in the, um, like, oh, all right, let me go do the laundry and have to like go into the bathroom. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds inconvenient a little bit too. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Flowers. Hey, Jackie, how you doing, Jackie? What's happening? There we go. Did they say how much this this will be when it comes out? They did not say how much it will be, but I can maybe take a guess. If I were to guess how much this would be, probably as much as their Parking Tycoon game was. So I would say... Uh, what was that? Like twelve dollars? Ten, ten, twelve dollars, something like that. That's what I would expect. There we go. Nice. Okay. Oh wait, whoops. Okay, we're gonna need a little bit more flooring to go with it and honestly even in there too okay and then we could put like i guess we could put like more stuff like uh wardrobes and things like that yeah california is weird in missouri i couldn't imagine a washer and dryer in the garage i have an actual laundry room in with the room the furnaces i'm assuming you have like a mud room Right? My mom's house has a mud room. Kind of like kind of thing. Has like a mud room. Where like you have there's like a Yeah, it's a mud room. <laughs> and that's where the washer and dryer is. But yeah. Um, let's go shopping. Let's go wardrobe. Closet. Apparently that's a closet and that's okay. Um, let's do maybe more plants and then more flooring. This better, this house better give us something, something real good. Yeah, there we go. What's a mud room? Oh shit. <laughs> um. How would you explain a mudroom to people that don't know what a mudroom is? 
A mudroom is where you take off your muddy boots. Yeah, just about. Like, it's like a tiny room, like a small room where you would, like, take your boots off, take your jackets off. Uh, maybe store some things, like maybe some, I don't know, you store some tools possibly in there. Put a laundry, like a... a, a, a uh, a dryer, uh, a washing machine in this case, but it's, it, I mean, it's a room when you walk, I mean, it's a room where you walk in before you get into the house. It, it doesn't have to be like a, in the front of the house. It could be on the side of the house. It could be in the back of the house, right? But it's like an entry. It's like a room you enter before you enter your house. It's almost like a sunroom, kind of. Do you know what a sunroom is? Is that what they're called? I know there's a lot of sunrooms in like Florida and stuff like that, right? Um, kind of like a sunroom, I guess. But less mud or less dirt. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. I guess, you, I mean, Florida has a lot of sunrooms. I think we have a lot of sunrooms too, though. At least houses with sunrooms. Um, let's go like that. Yeah, sunrooms are very much a Florida thing. Just like how, like, in Florida, like, if you have a pool, not everybody can afford it, but it's highly likely that, like, 50% of the Floridian population has their pools outside with cages on them. Anybody, like, you know... You go to Florida, half of the houses there have all cages around their pool at their house. You know? It's it's, it's a different world over there. <laughs> but that's for good reason, though. Too many gators, man. Is that the right way? Okay. It's like gators are are like gators in Florida are like kangaroos in Australia. That's what gators are like. It's like probably the best comparison right there. Where I live, we get a lot of uh we get a lot of black bears and cougars. There's a lot of cougar sightings and a lot of cougar like alarms that go off like hey be careful outside there's a freaking cougar and no i'm not talking about the i'm not talking about miss jackson down the street either now that was a decent okay thing that we've done it didn't actually put us at max reputation which is fine i guess we don't have enough items unless we're gonna start like duplicating items which is something i don't really want to do i don't want to like duplicate items in that house but yeah The cage is for children and just has been adopted everywhere. Are we talking about the same cage? It was mostly there for alligators. Uh, wow, that is definitely not my house. Pinecrest Haven is a spacious two-story residence with a beautifully landscaped backyard complete with a private pine tree grove and a relaxing patio. Two Canadian dollars from official K Crew Gaming. Where I live, we get bears and moose in our pool. You get bears and mooses in your pool. Yeah, see, we get black bears. And we get cougars. <laughs> Mountain lions, mostly, yeah. Kind of like that thing. Yeah. You live semi-close to a coal region. Mudrooms are standard in most houses. You take off everything dirty so you don't track in mud, dirt, or anything around the house. Yeah, exactly. Old school houses have a shower in there. Yeah, I'll, my mom, not mine, but my mom's house, her mudroom has a shower in her mudroom as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can I sell this for 60000 you think? Too high? 50000 I mean, it's not maxed out. 
45,000? 40,000? Uh, 42,000. 43,000. 44,000? Okay, 43. Okay, we'll do that. Anybody interested in that? Hello, Mike. How's it going? You get a lot of grizzly bears in Tennessee. I tell the game warden that the moose drowned. Can I keep to, can I keep it to eat it? End the shift. I'm afraid this price exceeds my budget. Okay, that's fine. We're not looking for people like you, my good man. I'm sorry. Yes, let's look at this option. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Okay, we have someone. Maybe we can do 50K. Maybe we can do 60K. Let's see. Oh my God, he's in the house. Come here, sir. We have beer and beer and peanut butter. You want to stand on the bed? $50,000. Exactly what I was looking for. All right, enjoy your peanut butter and beer. Let's go see if we can buy another house. Mm -mm 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 -mm. $53,000 right next door. Wait, you're already selling your house. I just sold it to you. All right, I wonder if this layout will be different. Let's see, hopefully. Do, 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 do. 53,000. 45,000? This is the perfect fit for me. Okay. This is a different layout, dude. What in the hell? Look at your picture. <laughs> what do you live next to a hospital? Where is this at, dude? Okay, you walk in, boom, fireplace. You have 27,000 doors in here. Okay, do you also have peanut butter and beer? Okay, you also have peanut butter and beer. Wonderful. Well, you have like 18 rooms. God damn it. Okay. This one doesn't... <laughs> Where's the dryer? <laughs> okay. Okay, walk-in closet. There's the dryer. Look at the dryers in the garage. <laughs> I'm not crazy. What do you think? The dryer's in the freaking garage. <laughs> uh, how funny is that? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Holy crap, man. See, washers and dryers, they go in the garage. Telling you, it's a thing. It's absolutely a thing. There you go. <clears throat> Hello, Bull. How are you? Good to see you. What's going on? What car could fit in that? Uh, that's a Fiat for sure. That's a Fiat. The painting in that house is peeling like a smoker lived there. 100%. Yeah, we have 10 grand to put on this house. That's good. Obviously, we're going to place that, 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 that. Give me that. Um, let's go for Yeah Darkness apparently Let's go with darkness Floors uh, Cart is full Okay Okay, we'll do that. All right, let's go decorate. Let's go. How much would this house cost where you live? Probably 560K in Denver. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, 400 at least. 400,000 at least. I don't even live in a massive city. I don't even live in a tourist 
part of California. I live in a in like a town. I only I live in a small town of like like a hundred thousand people. Okay, let's go inside. Your first and third home had washers and dryers in the garage. There we go. See, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go like this. All right. I don't like that. I hate it. Maybe I like it. I don't know. I don't like it. There we go. Small hundred thousand people. I mean, yeah, small hundred thousand people is not that much, right? For a town. There we go. California is wild, has multiple cities. No one outside of California has heard of with a hundred thousand people of them. Wait, what? <laughs> has multiple cities. No one outside of California has heard of with a hundred thousand people in them. Wait, wait, wait I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, crap. I live in a place of a hundred thousand people and I think it's, I think it's as large. Well, I mean, I don't know. I, I guess in comparison, I mean, I don't know. Like to us, it's not that many people because like if you go to like cities, you know, those are like millions and millions and millions of people. I mean, we've had this discussion before where like California has just almost as much as people in the UK. Like the population of California is almost the UK. That's just a state. I think this turned into a chair, not a, uh, and I think it changed into a chair and it's not a wardrobe anymore. So that kind of sucks. We have to get a little, uh, dresser thing. There we go. There we go. You grew up in a small town of 5,000 people. This town is like 6,000. What the frick? Your whole country is 1.3 million. Okay, now that's like, that's like a city. <laughs> that's like a city. Oh, not in there. You grew up in a village of 5,000 people? Jesus. Where I'm from, where I live, it's called small town. Like we are small town folk. At least that's where I'm from. Like anybody you talk to in California and you're like, oh, where are you from? And then you tell them when you're from, I'm small town folk. Like I'm like, I'm considered like small town country folk. If you want to go by stereotypes. Uh, there we go. Wait, what is that? I can't tell which one's which. That is not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. I kind of like that. Yeah, I like it. You grew up in a town of 50,000. It was the biggest town in the county by a large margin. Holy crap. I mean, holy crap as in like. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Look, I'm just saying where I'm from, I'm from small town folk. That's what they call us. We are small town folk. I don't like that. That's terrible. That is awful. Okay, so the flooring in this game needs to kind of be tinkered with a bit. I would have to say. Just a little bit. Missouri has a total of 6 million people alone. 
That's an entire state. I don't know. There's a lot of people in my state. There's the, like 60 million or something. I don't even know. I can't. I don't even know the population of California. Let's go in here. All I know is like it's the size of the UK. If not, the UK is a little bit bigger. Here we go. You know, wallpaper. That is so bad. Why did I get that one? I don't like that. I don't know why I got that one. I mean, I don't know. It's all right. No, that's terrible. That's terrible. Can you get rid of stuff? You can. Let's actually sell everything so we don't get confused on everything. Go. There we go. Cool. Forty million hey, people. Forty million people in California. There you go. Hello, Haley. Thank you for subscribing. How are you? All right, back to the office. Mexican pizza with no beef. Are you talking about Mexican pizza from uh, from Taco Bell? No. Yep. Got to do a little bit more. A little bit more. Let's see here. Uh, I think you could put the entire UK in California. You can put the entire like country of you like well, countries I guess. You put UK in California. I think it's the size, right? Let's go. That was, wait, that was bricks. That's what it was. That looked nothing like the picture. Oh, maybe that was darkness. Maybe that's what it was. That looked like nothing like the picture. Let's just do flower tiles. These ones look pretty neutral. 25. Hmm. Oh yeah, let's get some of these too. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. You ordered Taco Bell and yes, you got the large Baja Blast. There you go. Finally, somebody doing something right. You only have 25 million. There, we only have 25 million people in the whole thing of Australia. Well, to be fair though, like Australia is big as far as like geographically big but i think only like half of the country gets utilized for like civilization like the other half is like like uh what would you call it i don't want to say like the wild but like untouched natural i just sold that i'm an absolute a-hole untouched um land i guess in a way like it's all for wildlife right There we go. Outback. There you go. The Outback. Yeah. The Outback. Like it's, I mean, like if you go to like Australia, right? Aren't you like, aren't you like, oh yeah, you know, I'm coming here also as a tourist. I want to go see the Outback. Kind of like if you went to Africa, right? The whole middle of Australia is desert. Yeah, there you go. Like straight desert, right? Like nothing happens in like some part of the country. Like not utilized fully, I guess. But it's for like wildlife, yeah? There we go. It's not like abandoned. Not like abandoned, but like it's like, oh yeah, nobody lives in like, it's like Alaska. It's like comparing Australia and Alaska. You know, the last frontier. 
That's probably the best way to the to compare it. Alaska and Australia. There we go. Let's do that. Okay, that looks nice, I guess. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There's two to three hours between most towns. That's the problem. There's the, so much land being not used. You have to drive three hours to get to the next town. I have to drive literally 15 minutes to get to the next city limits. <laughs> Like there's my city and then the next city is like 15 minute drive away and then the next city is like 10 drive away you know 10 minute drive away the city limits are like on top of each other because all of the all of it's being used for the most part that's looking neat i like that I need more of it, but I like it. There we go. Any more. If we use all the wildlife or all the land, the wildlife will go extinct. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why it's like, you know, you got to like, you know, there's the wild, you know, there's. Australia has a lot of wildlife. Africa has a lot of wildlife. There's still a lot of touches. There's a lot of places in Africa that's not even touched. Most of it's like desert in the top northern region. Alaska is the same way, you know. Even Canada. Canada is also... Uh, there's like half of Canada is untouched because it's just like... It's wilderness. It's like unlivable, right? I mean, Canada is a massive country. Has massive land. And just, <laughs> just cold wilderness. <laughs> they got a lot. Uh, da, 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 da. Flower tiles. Let's do 20 again. There we go. Have I seen Recycle Center Sim? I have. I do plan on playing that game, I think, eventually. But yeah. There we go. Three fourths of it's untouched, not half. That's even bigger. <laughs> That's crazy. There we go. Okay. In we go. There we go. You want to see me remodel houses? You got to watch my house flipper series. <laughs> That's what you got to do. There we go. we go okay good good that is effing me up but that's all right that's all right there we go that's why some biologists believe in yeti or sasquatch because if you look at alaska 75 percent has been explored and there is always discovering new species is that insane like there's so much of Alaska that hasn't even been explored. I find that insane. I found that really insane. Tile in the bedroom? Best believe it, baby. Best believe it. Whole house being filled with tile. <laughs> Look, I don't have a lot of options to work with here. Maybe I do. But... I like that one. It was a flower tile. It looked great. We invested that. Okay, so that. Let's do 60,000. 59,000. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. 55,000. 57,000. 56,000. Okay, 56,000. I'm sorry, but it doesn't pique my interest. Ninety percent of our pop uh, of our popul populace population lives south. I'm sorry, 75 but it doesn't pique my interest. Live in Ontario. <laughs> it just makes sense. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Unfortunately, I can't agree to this price. It's too high. No. I'm sorry, but this price is higher than I expected. Yeah, all you need is a hose to clean up the walls. I regret to say that I have no interest in In case this. somebody wants to throw wine at the wall. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, I'm open to considering this option. Okay, this guy's gonna get effed. He doesn't even know it yet. Beer and peanut butter, anybody? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Exactly what I was looking for. 59,000, I probably could have gone higher. I could have, I probably could have sold it for 60k. $59,000. How do you like that? Enjoy your freaking house, tile boy. Back to the suburbs. Bro, you playing what? You playing game what? What did you just ask? Bro, you playing game what? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Try that again. I'm reconstructing my guinea pig's cage while listening to this. You're so tired. Oh, dude. Reconstructing the guinea pig. That's not fun. It's too much work. It's too much work, but I love them. Is what I hear all the time. It's so much work, but I love them. All right. Let's check these prices. Okay. 300,000. You want me to say a word? No. Go away. <laughs> I'm not saying a word in another language so that you can sit there and laugh like a little heathen. Ha 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 Bro doesn't know how to make a compound sentence or question. First, you give me a legitimate question and I will take in consideration of saying a word in your language that I have no idea what it means. But first, you have to ask me a legitimate question. Can we agree on that? Bro? <laughs> okay 36k <laughs> this is probably gonna be the cheapest house oh the work day's over oh collectible it's a cat i didn't even notice him nice so we have a cat and a rat look i'm gonna give you a one warning I know you want me to say a, 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 a word in another language, but we only speak English here. It's nothing to do with that. It's just how it is. You have to speak English in the chat. If you don't speak English in the chat, then you're going to have to get a timeout. I don't want to have to ban you, and I'm just giving you a chance. But we speak English in the chat. Okay? And there's a reason why we speak English in a chat, because universal language other people use in other words that might be offensive that we don't know about you can't do that it's just it's not about it we can't do that <laughs> and is the cat supposed to be garfield where did he even go oh there he is if that's supposed to be garfield no that's, that's just too depressed this is like a doll Plus he has like devil horns unless that's his ears that's his ears yeah that's a meme cat is that are you serious is that a reference to something 
I don't even know if that is a reference. If it is a reference. Okay. We're going to buy this house. Well, we can't buy the house because it's already too... Well, we might have to check on a new, another one. The Puss in Boots? It's Ginger Cat? Is that a meme or something? I'm not up to date on my memes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm not buying this house again because we already we already did that one. I want to do like a, uh, a different layout. Can I go this way? I can't go that way. Damn it. It's one of the first 15 results you get when you type in cute cat on Google. <laughs> Oh, this here we go here we go here's the house 47 okay let's do this different layout <sighs> not the different layout it's the same layout brick okay what can i do for you uh let me do 35,000. i i'll have to say no okay what about 37,000? no thanks okay what about 39,000? This is the perfect fit for me. I've noticed like a lot ever since I played the movie cinema simulator uh, thing. There's been a lot of awesome people coming from uh, from movie cinema simulator. Like what I mean by that is like the Indonesian fan, uh, Indonesia fan base has been awesome, but I've noticed a lot of Indonesian uh, users have been trying to get me to say words in their language that are very offensive. I just think like if you are like coming from that, I would say represent a, just a little bit better because I mean, ultimately it's very exciting that we play a lot of Indonesian games, but I've only had trouble with people trying to trick me into saying words that are offensive because uh, for whatever reason, and that's only been through the Indonesian population. So I would say just make sure, you know, try your best with English. Eventually we'll figure it out, you know, but it's, it, it's not, it's not cool. And it's not funny to make a streamer say something in another language that is offensive. And it's, it might be funny to you, but in a different culture, in a different world, it's not funny to some of us, right? But yeah, just, you know, be proud of where you're, where you're from and represent it, you know, represent it with the most, you know, honorable, modesty, noble, whatever you want to be. Just don't kind of represent it in a bad way, you know, just like, come on now. Because it's happened a lot. It's happened a lot, a lot ever since I've been playing these games. And it actually kind of like makes me want to not keep playing these games because I keep getting a lot of these certain like same things and over in that so just kind of be mindful of that a little bit just you know food for thought there's a lot of people that can't speak english in chat and english is really their second language but eventually you know we understand what they're saying at the end of it we understand <laughs> they might not understand me but we understand them yeah Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know what I'm going to do with this house again. I guess I'm going to do the same layout. We'll do that. Maybe. I'll maybe put the bed in a different spot. We'll do that. And we'll do a different wallpaper too. There we go. Regular carpet. There we go. We'll do regular carpet this time too. <laughs> Don't stop playing these games. No, it's not that like, it's not these game. It's a, it's particular games. It's, there's certain types of games that are Indonesian developed and 
I'm just saying certain types of games kind of adopts a certain type of audience, right? And then that audience kind of comes through and does all that. But yeah, it's not like this game in particular, though. Mm -mm -mm. If I may ask, this isn't why people play cinema because it's for Indonesians. Well, no, it's not for Indonesians. It's for everyone. I'm going to let that one. I I'm going to let that one go up to my ignorance because I don't fully understand. <laughs> Yeah, Indonesian games, they do hit different. I've played a lot of Indonesian games, for sure. And even uh, some of my favorite games, too, I would have to say on the channel. For sure, for sure. Especially like Movie Cinema Simulator, even though that move, even though that game really kind of hurts right now, because like I got my save data all got completely um, it all got completely deleted my save data on that game and i'm very sad about that because it was like 17 hours of gameplay that we uh that we lost on that but yeah mm -mm -mm. yeah coral island indonesian yeah wonderful game wonderful game indeed that was probably that one's probably up there with my favorite coral island mixed with um there's a lot of others too i'm trying to think of the like story driven games too there's a lot of story driven games that are really good as well i can't think of all the names but yeah mm -mm -mm -mm. i think i might actually make a little living room over here instead let's do that let's actually bring this over here grab that I think Spork just really likes. I think Spork really loves Sand Rock. <laughs> yes, Indonesian is. Yes, I agree. I absolutely agree. Yeah, story driven games are like. There's like a lot of story driven games that I've played, but some of them, like some of them just hit really different and they really hit the like i guess oh this turned into a chair too they really hit the feels and um there's really good writing coming out of it for sure that looks horrible doesn't it um how would i do this one i guess i could put this here you found baby blue paint on pacific drive nice There we go. Perfect. Is your bed in the kitchen? It technically is. Yes. It technically is. Technically. We'll do this one now. Actually, give me the plant. No, not there. There we go. How's this going to look? Oh, this carpet. It's regular carpet. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Let's do that. Put the carpet in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I'm going to miss out on that little piece there. Go figure. Didn't get enough. Uh, let's go other. Yeah. There we go. Like bathroom, not bathroom, bedroom. It, it's a loft. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's a loft. Uh, kitchen, bedroom. Yeah, all in one. No, I like the idea. Studio. There you go. It's a fancy studio. Studio part. Yeah, there you go. Oh, crap. 
Well, I done f that up, no, didn't I? Yeah, no, that's a good that's a good way to put hey, it. I, I guess that's like the word I'm 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 missing is like studio studio apartment studio uh, law hey, subscriber kind of thing like that. Yeah, there you go, perfect. Hello, Jay, and hello, Monica. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Appreciate it. We need more stuff though. We need more carpet and walls. I've seen carpet in bathroom slash shower room. I have two, and I think it had to do with like, I don't know if it had to do with like the old school 70s, 80s kind of thing where I remember going to my grandmother's house and she had like shag carpet and she had like shag carpet in the sh in the bathroom. It was like that, like that thick natty carpet. And I, and I was just thinking to myself, why would you want to do that? It doesn't feel good. Like it feels good on the feet, but like moisture and uh, to me, I was like, what the frick? I don't know, man. I don't know. It was like that natty kind of carpet that tangles up and stuff. Have a good night, Dylan. Do take care. Do take care. Yeah, like a mid 50s home. Thanks for hanging out with us, Dylan. This one keeps turning into a chair, so I need to get more of those. You don't want wet, squishy carpet when you get out of the shower? <laughs> I remember that so much. I do. I remember it so much. And I was thinking like, back then I was thinking, oh, wow, this is a... Uh, this is a, uh, I mean, I, to me, I guess if you walk out of the shower and you step on like nice squishy carpet, I'm just thinking, oh, that feels nice. But then I'm in the back of my head. I'm like, wait a sec. Is like carpet getting wet a good thing and just letting it dry on its own? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the toilet seat cushions look my grandmother had the toilet seat cushions and it was a pink it was a pink porcelain toilet with pink uh a pink porcelain toilet a uh, pink bathtub and pink cushion on the pink toilet my god Place that right there. Place this over here too. Here we go. Cool, cool, cool. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put carpet in the bathroom. <laughs> After talking all this stuff. There you go. There's your. I don't understand the separation of those two, but it, it's it's working. I guess I don't know. It's happening. We'll leave the bathroom as is, I guess. There we go. All right, let's sell it now. My roommate in college had one and I got rid of it and she threatened to kick me out. I was like, girl, this is disgusting, please. <laughs> it's kind of like, I don't know. I don't know if any of you guys do like, uh, uh, anybody do the I find it, I look, I'm not being like, I'm not trying to like, I, uh, how would you say it? I'm not talking down to anybody, but I, I find it weird when there's like in the shower, you know, like a shower bathtub combo when there's like a mat, you know, like a mat in the shower. I, I don't like standing on that mat. <laughs> I just want. I just want the tub or the shower. You know, I, I don't want to stand on a mat. I feel like that's kind of crazy. <laughs> I mean, a slip mat, I think, is what it's called, right? Is that what it's called? A slip mat? They don't slip, right? Older people, maybe, and stuff like that. But never was a fan of the mat in the tub. Because I feel like so much happens on that mat. That is not 
properly washed. You know what I mean? 60,000? So anytime I, I see like a, a mat in a bathtub or something, I, I try my best to avoid it. And that almost gets me hurt nine times out of 10. Imagine all the pee. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Here's a question for chat. I don't want you to find me disgusting. You might find me disgusting. Maybe not. Maybe it's normal. Maybe it's totally normal. I find it normal. My wife finds it normal, but you people brush your teeth in the shower. I'm not interested. I'm sorry. Brush your teeth in the shower. No, every chance you get. I'm sorry, but this price is higher than I expected. Yes, yes, Mr. Poro, Mr. Poro, hello. Great idea. I'm willing to examine this option. Yes, nope, at the sink, hit or miss with me, ew, no. <laughs> Seems very 50-50 here. I like to brush my teeth in the shower. I mean, I'm not saying that's like the only way I brush my teeth, but I, I like brushing my teeth in the shower. It's kind of like hit it, you know what I mean? Right then and there, I'm gonna go 60K on your ass. That's what I need. That's what I need too, buddy. When I brush my teeth, the water gets everywhere. I mean, it's like all in one, you know? Nope, never have. If you've never brushed your teeth in the shower and you aren't disgusted by it, give it a try. When you're going to bed at night and you take a shower at night, if you take a shower before bed, you take a shower before bed, go into the shower. First of all, think of me, then Grab your toothbrush, grab some toothpaste, brush your teeth. All in one, one clean swoop, just like that. Just like that. What do you think? Possible? Possible, yeah. Yeah, I think it's possible. Just do that, try it out, see how it goes. Why not? What do you do with the toothbrush when you're done? Right in the sink. Put it, or not in the sink. Well, I mean, you could put it in the sink, but put in the little uh, toothbrush thing in the sink. But I have pockets. My shower curtain has pockets. I have like seven different pockets on my shower. So there's a lot of things that go in a lot of things. Anyways, it's been a pleasure not to be with you today. Hopefully you all enjoyed today's streams. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content by me and all that. We'll be back tomorrow with some more streaming. Uh, tomorrow, Saturday. So look out for that. A big shout out to the developer for sending me an early access on Real Estate Simulator. If you enjoyed, make sure to put this game on your wish list and all that stuff. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. Yeah, I appreciate you. You can follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, and you can join the Discord. You can join the Discord. Very easy to join the Discord. Continue the conversation there. Links in the description below. You can join the Discord if you like. Other than that, I'll see you tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time with some more gaming. Hope you enjoy. All right? Everybody, take care. She's